Hey, I'm Tony Roach. One of the most rewarding parts of going out fishing, especially in the Canadian wilderness, is that shore lunch period. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to fillet walleyes to maximize meat and minimize waste. Here we go. First thing is, Rappel is probably one of the most recognizable names when it comes to fish flaying knives. Um, here's just a fixed blade, a real sharp knife that you can carry, light, easy pack knife. I like to start with just a simple cut along the back side of the gill plate, angling my knife forward, and then just sliding along the dorsal fin and backbone, just real easy. I don't punch the knife all the way through, I kind of feel along those rib bones, and then boom, as soon as I get back towards the back side of the dorsal fin, I stick the knife all the way through and slide it towards the tail fin. Now, here's an easy way that you can just kind of feel along the ribs here without cutting through the ribs. Okay, and just slide it along the top side of the ribs, cutting downward on the outside of the rib cage. Okay, and then just make one simple cut along the belly. That eliminates you having to do one more step in cutting that rib cage out. It's also gonna make your knife last longer, not dull your knife, it's, it's just a simple easy cut. Then I just feel along here for the pin bones. I'll slide my knife down to the skin, just making a V-shaped cut. Okay, and just tearing that out. Now that's a completely boneless fillet. As I slide my knife along the skin, I'm just gonna pull that meat right out of there and boom, there you have it. A completely boneless fillet. There, that's just a simple way to fillet fish by maximizing the most amount of meat and minimizing the waste without dulling your knife. Hey, I'm Tony Roach. That was your Midwest Outdoors tip of the week. Our countdown of 30 great moments in fishing pays tribute to Teddy Roosevelt. At a time when many considered our natural resources inexhaustible, Roosevelt saw them as something to protect and cherish. During his presidency from 1901 to 1909, Roosevelt established 230 million acres of public lands, more than 150 million acres set aside as national parks and forests. Today, there are 59 national parks and national wildlife refuges in every state. Teddy Roosevelt, our first conservation president. Midwest Outdoors salutes you.